there's nothing like that particular stink of Victorian London to really jolt you awake. And all this sewage filtration puts me in mind of the excretory system. The excretory system includes the liver, large intestines, lungs, skin, and kidneys. While these organs vary widely in form and function, they all have a role in excreting metabolic waste from the body. The renal system is often considered the most essential plumbing of the excretory system. So, in this sketch, we're going to follow the path of urine through the kidneys and associated organs and reflexes. Hmm, nice and warm. The kidneys are a pair of bean-shaped organs located in the back of the abdominal cavity at the very bottom of the rib cage. They're responsible for filtering blood to remove waste, excess water, and some solutes, like salt and other electrolytes, ultimately forming urine. Urine then leaves the kidneys via the ureters, tubes that carry urine from the kidneys to the urinary bladder. The ureters are depicted by these two pipes connecting the kidney filtration pools to the larger collecting pool our symbol for the urinary bladder. The urinary bladder stores urine and plays a role in when and how fast you run to the nearest restroom. Now, the urinary bladder doesn't just hold urine, it also facilitates urination with a muscle called the detrouser muscle. Hey, detrousers. Is someone walking around here without their pants? Anyway, when the detrouser muscle relaxes, urine is stored in the bladder. When it contracts, urine is pushed out of the bladder, into the urethra, and ultimately out of the body. The detrusor muscle is a smooth muscle, so it's regulated by the autonomic nervous system. 